The scanning plans for the liver are longitudinal in the epic region, then subcostal sweep, subcostal sweep. Again, longitudinal, then angling in this direction. Subcostal, initial one was absolutely straight below the subcostal margin up to the lumbar region. Second one was is longitudinal. Then angle, angle, then transverse, epigastric region, angling it, capilloid. Then straight capilloid angling towards the patient's face if required, neutral angling in about 45 degrees or 60 degrees angle. You may have to ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it in case if you don't see the transfer section in the transfer section of the liver the portal veins and in this posture and in this position scanning in this scanning plan you don't see the hepatic veins and you may have to give pressure you may have to give pressure and maneuver it in this section in this way second plan that is used for the ultrasound of the liver is the intercostal plan. These are the intercostal plan. This is the intercostal plan with patient supine. Now for the comparison of the right kidney with the liver or liver with the right kidney in the lumbar region almost in the intercostal space lumbar region maneuvering in this direction or facing the probe in this down in the subcostal region in the subcostal region asking the patient to take a deep breath and hold it and then hang moving the probe according to the requirements so that you can see the liver and right kidney together for the comparison of the parenchyma of both organs. Liver parenchyma is slightly more than that of the right kidney's parenchyma provided the right kidney is normal. Curved load. <coughs> then we have to scan the patient in left lateral decubitus posture placing the probe longitudinally to start with then again you angle it all the angling is done here in the epigastric region I place the probe longitudinally in the epigastric region I'm angling it over here and this is mainly to see the portal vein porta hepatis. Then we move the probe upwards in the intercostal space. These intercostal spaces are used to scan the portal vein and its branches. But the posterior branch of the right portal vein we turn this way. We will have to move the probe in this way downwards and for the anterior branch 
we have we may have to angle it upward it will all depend upon the patient size aerial scan is that we do that we perform on a thin patient then this is one view in which laser probe in this subcostal region gives some pressure angle it cephaloid and ask the patient to take a deep breath so that you can see all of the liver parenchyma with diaphragm then this is one another view you place the probe in the subcostal region in the subcostal region here move it downwards this will clear you if there is any fluid above the diaphragm or there is any pleural effusion even if you place the probe over in this direction under the subcostal region ask the patient to take a deep breath if he can you can if the pleural effusion is present then you will see fluid above the diaphragm even in this angle small amount of pleural effusion however may not be seen in this scanning plan for which this is the proper scan the probe in the intercostal region you can get over here and then angling angling it in this direction very slowly gradually here slowly and very gradually now for if again to see the kidney and the liver parenchyma you may have to place the probe under the subcostal region with little pressure ask the patient to take a deep breath and you will see kidney and liver both to compare the parenchymal equation so these are one of the few plans that we use if i place the probe here ask the patient to take a deep breath i will see the gallbladder with water in